Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on October 17, 2025, about three days ago. This paper unveils Skyfall GS, a city block scale system that turns satellite images into real-time, explorable 3D urban scenes, with user studies showing about 97% preference over SatNerf. The paper is titled, Skyfall GS, Synthesizing Immersive 3D Urban Scenes from Satellite Imagery. And as we will see later, the results are really impressive. In short, the method fuses satellite-driven coarse geometry with diffusion-based texture refinement through a curriculum of render, edit, retrain cycles, yielding cross-view consistent geometry, realistic facades, and interactive exploration without any costly 3D annotations. Also, the author shared a GitHub repo. It includes full training code for both reconstruction and IDU, clear dataset setup, Conda and PIP requirements, automated scripts for JAX and NYC, evaluation with PSNR, SSIM, LPIPS, and CLPS, and CLIP FID, rendering tools to make videos, and fused PLY outputs, plus utilities for alignment, COLMAP conversion, and camera paths. Figure 1 presents the core idea. Satellite photos go in, an explorable 3D city comes out, suitable for drone-style navigation. The left panel shows multi-view satellite inputs collected across dates and viewpoints. The large central render depicts the generated city block with sharper geometry and textures. The round inset on the right contrasts a satellite patch with the synthesized facade, which looks consistent because diffusion editing steers textures while 3D Gaussian splatting preserves structure. Well, figure two contrasts satellite reconstruction and city generation approaches, and it highlights why ground navigation breaks. Limited parallax, meaning viewpoints change too little, leaves missing facades and blurry shapes in standard reconstructions. Methods driven by semantic maps and height fields create blocky, toy-like buildings. The Skyfall GS panels show sharper facades and cross-view consistent geometry, so the city looks credible from aerial views and closer fly-throughs. So figure 3 shows how the system turns satellite photos into an explorable 3D city through a reconstruction stage and a synthesis stage. The left panel reconstructs a coarse 3D Gaussian splatting scene, which stays consistent because pseudo-camera depth supervision counters the tiny viewpoint changes in satellites. The center panel depicts a curriculum of episodes that lowers camera height to reveal hidden facades. The right inset illustrates render refinement via text to image diffusion editing meaning a generative model repaints views under text guidance while preserving layout. All right, figure three outlined the pipeline. Table one reports how it stacks up on the DFC 2019 benchmark. The method leads across metrics with the lowest clip fit around 27, which means the generated images match real image distributions better using language vision features. It also posts stronger pixel scores like higher PSNR and SSIM and lower LPI pages S. These gains matter because lower distribution distances and sharper pixels align with more realistic, cross-view, consistent scenes. Wrapping up, two takeaways stand out. Skyfall GS fuses satellite-driven geometry with diffusion editing to produce cross-view, consistent, explorable 3D cities in real time, and it does so without costly 3D supervision. The broader implication is accessible urban simulators for mapping, robotics, and media, though compute and extreme close-ups remain limits. That is it for the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex. Thanks for listening.